Welcome to the Redefinition Daily with Ozana, a daily inspiration for a better new life. Good morning. We trust that your day is good and God is faithful. John Climacus said, and I quote, Obedience is the burial of the will and the resurrection of humility. End of quote. One time basketball superstar, Nigerian born Hakim Olajuwon said this, and I quote, I was successful materially, but I know life is much more than worldly success. I saw all these blessings God has given me. The way to give thanks is obedience to God. End of quote. Welcome to the Redefinition Daily with Hosanna. We are beginning a new series this week, The Blessings in Obedience. As we fellowship this week, God will bless us. But in the meantime, let us listen. How sweet the name of Jesus sounds. We shall be right back. sweet the name of jesus sounds in our believers ears welcome back this is the redefinition daily with hosanna let us pray father we thank you for the gift of another wonderful beautiful week again we bless your name for your faithfulness again this is the week that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it thank you heavenly father as you lead us through this week May your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. The blessings in obedience. Our text is taken from Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 1 to 3. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 1 to 2. Remember, we encourage you to read with us as we read the Bible. 
now it shall come to pass. If you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God, to observe carefully all his commandments which I command you today, that the Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you, because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the country. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 1 to 3. In every society, there are laws and rules that govern their existence. There are lifestyles that the people will live that separates them from others and make them unique. Christianity, which is a way of life, is not left out. The life of a Christian, therefore, is supposed to be a life of total obedience, obedience to the pattern of the Christian life, and obedience to her master and king. When God created Adam and Eve, he gave them a command not to eat the fruit in the middle of the garden. In Genesis chapter 2, verses 16 and 17, by this singular command, God demanded total obedience from Adam and Eve and not their rational thinking. Can I say that again? By that singular command, God demanded total obedience from Adam and Eve and not their rational thinking. What then is obedience? The word obedience is a noun of the English adjective obedient, and it simply means doing what you are told to do. Obedience is simply doing what you are told to do. It also means willing to obey. Willing to obey. It is also the act of obeying. The act of obeying. This act and willingness have to be blind, complete, unquestionable, stupid, foolishly, and total. Our willingness to obey must be blind, complete, unquestionable, stupid in nature, foolishly, and total. That is what God demands from every Christian. The worst sin any man can and we commit every day is the sin of disobedience. Romans chapter 5 verse 19 in the Amplified Version says, For just as by one man's disobedience, failing to hear, heedlessness and carelessness, the many were constituted sinners, so by one man's obedience, the many will be considered righteous, made acceptable to God, and brought into right standing with Him. Moses, in the entire book of Deuteronomy, took time to remind the Israelites of the judgment of God upon them, especially upon their own belief, and the provisions, blessings of God in times of obedience. The moment we are obedient to God in all His ways, there are blessings. But if we disobey, there are great punishments. In Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1 to 3, where we read, the Bible says, Now it shall come to pass, if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God, to observe carefully all His commandments, which I command you today, that the Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you, because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. He said, Blessed you shall be in the city, and blessed you shall be in the country. These blessings come upon us when we are obedient. He said, This week that is open unto us, if we carefully obey the commands of God, what are the commands of God? God wants us to obey Him, obey and love Him. He wants us to love our God and have nothing attached, nothing after Him and nothing before Him. So if we diligently love God with the whole of our heart, God commands us to love our neighbors. 
love our neighbors as we love ourselves. So if we diligently obey the voice of the Lord our God to love our neighbors, and the Bible says, a Pharisee, a teacher of the law, came to Jesus, trying to tempt him. And he said, a certain man, who is my neighbor? I don't know who is my neighbor. And Jesus said unto him, a certain man was on a journey. And along the line, he was hacked down by armed robbers. The chief priest came and passed by. The Levi came and passed by. His brothers in the church came and passed by. Then suddenly, a known criminal, a hardened man that never knew the road to the church, came and saw him. He took him, sent him to the hospital, paid all the bills, and deposited money for his treatment. And Jesus asked, Among these ones, who is the neighbor of this very man? And they replied unto him, The one that helped him out. So we need to be our neighbor's keeper. We need to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Don't be ignorant of the fact of who your neighbor is. Your neighbor is that man that is in need of help deliberately, desperately, and you are aware of. You can help out. You can reach out to him. You can be a blessing to him. Your neighbor is that family you know very well that every day they are in tears and you can help out. Reach out to them. These are the commands of God. And when we obey them, when we hearken unto them, it says, we shall be blessed. Say, our God will set us above all the nations of the earth and the blessings shall be our portion. This week, there is blessing in obedience. I encourage you, as you go out this week, reach out to somebody. Help a friend in need. Help a brother in need. And the blessings of the Lord shall come upon you. There is blessing in obedience. Let us pray. Father, we bless you. We appreciate you for your word again. We glorify your name for there is none like you, none to be compared with you. You have commanded that our weak shall be blessed. Oh, we stand on your promises. Because you are not a man that you should lie. You've never lied before. We know our going out and our coming in this week shall be blessed. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we pray, help us. Give us a heart of obedience. May we be obedient to your command. May we hear you when you speak. May we hear when you speak to our inner hearts. Lord, we pray that this week your grace will be sufficient for us to be obedient to you. In the name of Jesus and in our obedience, Lord, we shall eat the fruit of the land. You say we shall be blessed when we go out. We shall be blessed when we come in. You say we shall receive blessings in the land, in the city, in the country. Lord, I pray, as we go out this week in obedience, as we listen to your word, bless us. Bless us in the city. Bless us in the land. Bless us in the valley. Bless us in the mountain. Bless us in our walking places. I pray as many that goes are looking for something this week, they will receive it positively. In the name of Jesus, I pray, O oh God, let there be a blessing of your healing upon your children. Let there be the blessing of restoration. Let there be the blessing of salvation. Let there be a blessing of healing. Let there be a blessing of provisions. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray this week as we as we obey you, let there be a blessing of reconciliation, reconciliation with our neighbors, reconciliation with you, reconciliation with our families. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father. Be thou glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Remember to share this with family and friends. And God will bless you. Thank you for listening. We believe you are blessed by this broadcast. Join us every day.